All right, so as this camera burns up in the sun, I'm gonna just check to see if we can clean this up a little here. Let me look. It definitely needs, yep, there's a film on it. Always take care of cleaning your VX windows on the inside because otherwise they get all oily and everything. And then you, any kind of rainy weather, it's just gonna fog and haze, it's off. Yeah, you could just keep using your defroster all the time, but still, the oil's just gonna keep building from the inside of the plastics and stuff heating up. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is so clean now. The glass is just amazing on the inside. It's so foggy. You should have felt it. There was, I could feel the dirt through the thing and I've, I've never even touched that window. I'd always go out of the way to never touch that window with anything. Pretty good amount of dirt on there, knowing the fact that that's just a window and that's all up from the back. I got the sides too. I should get the front. windshield already did that the other day. Got the front and passenger side windows looking amazing got all the about this window like it's never looked that clear before it's it's honestly showing on camera pretty well on this on the better camera and even this one i mean look how clear that is if it weren't for that glare if it weren't for the glare at all you wouldn't, couldn't tell you're looking through a window all you used was some rubbing alcohol bottle this is just a cleaner bottle that i filled with water two microfibers one for the alcohol one for the water it's afterwards and of course gotta drink that energy so guys don't know where i left off there but just ran in for dinner it is served and it was pretty good ate some good fish so we're back here in the silverado and i do want to address something here i got the trim tool set and my special tools here and look at that matching as well so that's great the magnetic as well awesome so i'm gonna pull this part out so yeah, there's just something that I want to take care of fully this time. I kind of did it halfway. This is something you got to do, especially if you have a 07 and a half, 13 Silverado. Well, then you'll easily be able to follow this tutorial because, well, it's super easy and it's the same body style interior and everything. So everybody's got to modify this. All right, guys. So here is the module for the truck. And last time, all I did was remove that little pin connector in there. And I also just hooked back, of course, the antenna right there. So I think this time around, and because I know they're different for like the newer trucks and the older ones, this time around, I'm actually going to remove the board completely this time and leave there no chance to, you know, develop a signal. So I'm also going to also tape off the one connector in there because I'm not going to be able to use it anymore if I pull the chip. So it's going to be a process here, but I mean, it's not that not that hard to actually access one of these so you just got to make sure you have a trim tool set if you use a screwdriver you're probably going to scratch up the truck actually plug the box back in without the third antenna piece right there so i'm actually going to turn to make sure that that antenna doesn't affect the satellite radio which i can see it working now or the am fm radio so let's see if we can get uh i am we're good intel core processors call 877 by dell this people